What up, everybody? It's Dario Hunt, back from Living Life Fearless for another reaction, this time for Danny Brown, Atrocity Exhibition. Danny Brown is like the punk rock of hip hop. He's definitely a standout artist. Uh, he's unique in his flow and his delivery and his content, just overall presentation. He's definitely an acquired taste for a lot of people, uh, myself included, but he does have a lot of dope stuff out there. His major debut, Old, for example, came out about three years ago, and it was full of a lot of high points for me, and it really made me more of a fan of him. And he finally returns with this sophomore effort, Atrocity Exhibition. He sticks with a lot of the same formula and elements that made him popular in the first place, and a lot of why his fan base love him so much. The production on there is handled uh, all by one person, I think the same person who handled a lot of uh, his critically acclaimed Triple X mixtape. Most of it is, is dark and psychedelic, and his production, uh, it's almost manic in the way a lot of his, the composition is put together. It does a good job of playing to the strengths of Danny Brown's style of rap. Two of my favorite tracks off the whole album have to be Really Doe and Gold Dust. Really Doe is just mean production wise. It's like dark and twisted. It's got a lot of haunting chimes laying in the background that gives a lot of room for his two major guest features Absol and Kendrick Lamar to really do damage on and Gold Dust has these crazy guitar riffs throughout sounding like something that you would hear in like the last Mad Max movie with that guy strapped to the front of the truck playing guitar with flames spewing from it it's really really dope production and really sets the mood for the overall theme of the album and the theme of just who Danny Brown is he still has that sort of off-kilter high-pitched uh, flow and delivery that he had on like all his previous projects and it's full of those uh, shock raps that he's become so kind of notorious for like he raps about anxiety isolation addiction depression and drugs lots and lots of drugs in fact almost every track of the album is raps about doing drugs and having all these trippy fucked up experiences he really does a good job of taking you through like the deepest, darkest corners of his mind and thought process and really makes you feel that paranoia feeling that I think that he was going for. His crazy flow and verses combined with the exceptional dark psychedelic production really come together to pull you into Danny Brown's world. So all in all, I would say it's a very, very good album. Maybe not for everybody and it's an album that I probably have to be in the mood to listen to. But what it does, it does extremely, extremely well. And Danny Brown is a master of his craft. So what do you think about the album? Did you like it? Do you like Danny Brown's style of rap? His shock raps? Do you like the dark, twisted beats and stuff? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to head over to Living Life Fearless and leave a rating for the album.